In this USVE Instructables installment, you'll learn about dispute resolutions. We'll cover the key of communication and options parents have to find a resolution. Sometimes school staff and parents of students with disabilities disagree on services or what should be in a student's individualized education program, or IEP. Parents and school staff are members of the IEP team, and even though decisions are made by consensus or general agreement, the rest of the team may reach decisions that you do not agree with. In those situations, there are several steps you can take to resolve the disagreement. Let's walk through those steps. The first thing you should do is let your student's special education teacher or principal know about your concerns. This is the easiest and fastest way to resolve an issue. If you have an in-person conversation, follow up with an email as this creates a record of the conversation. Make sure your messages are polite and factual, which is important for building and preserving a good working relationship with your student's school team. If direct contact with your school doesn't seem to work, contact your school or district special education director. If your concerns still have not been resolved, you may consider contacting the Utah State Board of Education Special Education Dispute Resolution Department. Specialists can help you understand the rights described in your procedural safeguards notice and the dispute resolution processes that are available to parents and schools. One of the services you can ask USBE to provide is an IEP facilitator for your next IEP meeting. This is helpful whenever you have specific concerns about your student's IEP or when IEP team members disagree about IEP decisions. A facilitator is a trained neutral manager of the IEP meetings. That means that they are not on anyone's side. They are there to help you and the school staff come to a resolution. The facilitator will create an agenda that is agreeable to both sides, and they will ensure that all IEP team members get a chance to speak during the meeting. The facilitator guides the meeting and focuses on constructive conversation, collaboration, and problem solving. The structure and guidance a facilitator brings to the IEP meeting often helps parents and school staff come to an agreement. USBE provides facilitators at no cost to the parents or the school. Another option you can also ask for is mediation with the school. The mediator will help the parties identify their main concerns, brainstorm possible solutions, and reach compromise. Conversations during a mediation session are confidential. The goal of mediation is for the participants to sign a written agreement that resolves the dispute and describes actions both the school and family will take moving forward. Mediation is also provided by USBE at no cost to the parents or the school. If you believe the school has violated a requirement of the federal or state special education laws, you may file a formal written state complaint with USBE. Your complaint must explain how you think the school has violated your students' rights under the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. You must also share facts to support your claims and suggest ways the school could resolve your concerns. USBE will investigate your complaint by reviewing your student's education records, other evidence you and the school provide, and talking to you and school staff. USBE will issue a written decision within 60 days. If USBE determines the school did not follow the law, it will order the school to complete certain actions to ensure the law is followed moving forward. These actions could include providing services that should have been provided but weren't, providing additional training to staff, or monitoring to make sure special education laws are being followed school-wide. Finally, you can request a due process hearing. A hearing is the most formal dispute resolution option. It is conducted by a hearing officer appointed by USBE, 
who considers the information from both sides and makes a decision about the dispute. At any point in the dispute resolution process, you can withdraw your complaint or hearing request if your concerns are resolved in another way. You can also participate in mediation after a state complaint or request for a due process hearing has been filed. You can seek information and general advocacy services from the Utah Parent Center. The Disability Law Center supports parents and students in accessing their special education rights. USBE is committed to helping teens resolve conflict and disagreement. Don't hesitate to contact our Special Education Dispute Resolution Department for more information about your rights and how we can help.